So, from a personal perspective, uh, we, we work in a very regulated world, right? We are in stockbroking, asset management, lending. Uh, we will never, we can never be in the position where we do something that is not 100% regulated. Uh, right now in India, regulation around cryptocurrencies is in the grey. Mm. Uh, one does not know what is allowed, what is not allowed. Mm. Uh, they've come out with, you know, whatever taxation and TDS and all of that. But on a pragmatic level, how does that really work? I don't think is extremely clear yet. Uh, so, just because of regulation, uh, one would not do it, uh, at least somebody in uh, my position. Mm. But outside of that, uh, I, I feel like the crypto world has moved from, you know, calling it a currency, which they did a few years ago, right. to now calling it an asset class of its own. Mm. Uh, you know, I've been following the crypto story a little bit. I, I watch how it is becoming uh, more efficient to kind of like transact in cryptos. Mm. The whole moving from uh, proof of work to proof of stake to proof right. of history. I think it will get to a point where it is so efficient that for every crypto transaction, the, the kind of like uh, cost per ta transaction in terms of energy will go down significantly. I think that will happen. Mm. Uh, but you know, if you go back in time and try to figure out what is a currency, right? Uh, a currency is a outside of being a median for exchange, it has an intrinsic value, which back in the day was gold, you know, we had Bretton Wood, we had the gold standard, we, we weaned off all of that. I'm talking about the fiat time, mm. is, is, is a, the value of the currency is a norm which is accepted by the majority of the ecosystem, right? Think of it as religion. Mm. If everybody on the planet were Christians today, for example, uh, there would be no contesting uh, the credibility of a certain uh, certain religious whatever like mm. say currency coin or whatever uh, so bitcoin cryptocurrencies as a religion have done very well in the last decade or so my two big problems with it is you know a there is no underlying uh, b today they are too uh, energy inefficient in the manner in which they operate right and three, the world is so divided on them where half the countries kind of will disallow it, the other half will allow it. Uh, four, the, the so many different types of cryptos which are out there and you know, how is one to say that A will be prevalent tomorrow versus the thousand others which are uh, there in the ecosystem. Right. Uh, but beyond all that, I think uh, the reduced regulation that uh, cryptocurrencies have brought with them have uh, for for one reason or another uh, created an ecosystem where a vast majority of crypto transactions happening in the world today are not happening for uh, very legitimate legitimate reasons mm. the few transactions that are happening right. That's true. Uh, and do I want to kind of be a part of that market and you know tomorrow what happens if uh, you know say in America, some guy without any KYC or without ha without having identification, you know, somebody who's on the peer-to-peer -peer network buys an AK-47 and kills 100 people using cryptocurrencies mm. or, you know, something on a much larger scale where somebody buys a larger weapon. Uh, I always wonder what happens beyond that. Mm. Uh, and I don't have answers to so many of these questions and hence I don't. Right. Uh, my explanation for crypto would be different. NFTs, on the other hand, I think there is a use case for it. Mm. Uh, but is the market uh, extremely inflated today? Probably. I think yeah. the metaverse has a great use case. Mm. Uh, like this might be a very counterintuitive way of thinking about it, but the whole carbon problem in the planet, right? Like metaverse could be one of the answers for it. Mm. If instead of you driving from wherever and coming here, uh, you know, you could plug into a device and there's like, uh, it, it feels so real tomorrow that it right. feels like we are sitting next to each other. You don't drive from your home to here, right? Like, That's right. Uh, I think it has many answers there, but uh, I've been an investor in, you know, Facebook for a long time, Meta now, and you know, I thought they were brilliant in when they bought, you know, Instagram and WhatsApp and Oculus uh, in respect to the metaverse. But uh, between those two companies and that much money that they've put behind it, between Microsoft and Facebook, which are probably leading the metaverse race, mm. 
uh, I don't think they've been able to crack it yet. Right. So I don't think it is five years down the line, maybe it is 10 years down the line, but probably definitely a use case for it.